Hello, hello. Okay, we're finishing another packet today. Can you believe it? Okay, get out your word parts. We're gonna finish this up. We finished our math packet today. Or no, yesterday we finished our math packet and today you are finishing up your word parts packet. We're getting done. All right, the last page. And this one should be very easy for you. Okay, we are, let's talk about it. We're gonna do try, try. What does try mean? We live in the tri cities. It means three. Try means three. So when you see a word that has try, T-R-I in it, we know that it has something to do with three. Three cities, three angles, okay, three legs, try. Okay, so our tri cities are Richland, Kennewick, Pasco. Those are our three. All right, open up to the very last page. And under the meaning, go ahead and put what? Three. And draw yourself a picture for three. And we're gonna now do a crossword puzzle. Those, the crossword puzzle answers are gonna give us the words that we're gonna use down here. All right, so let's look at number one. A three-legged stand. Now remember, it's going to have try in it because it's going to, um, it's meaning three. So a try what? A three-legged stand. Well, I use this every day and you can't see it because it's holding my phone, but I use a tripod. A tripod is something that holds something and it has three legs. It's holding my phone right here while I'm talking to you and it's called a tripod. Okay, so what our three across is T-R-I, tri, and then pod, P-O-D, tripod. All right, two across, or excuse me, four across, a bike with three wheels. Well, you probably rode this when you were a preschooler. It's a tri what? What means bike or wheels? Sickle, tri sickle, sickle is circle. Tri means three and sickle is circle or wheels. So it is a tricycle. So four o'clock, four o'clock. Oh, Mrs. Nelson. Okay, try sickle. Try sickle. Three wheels. All right, five across. A shape with three angles. Oh, we did a lot of this before we left school, didn't we? It's a try what? A shape with three angles. Here's the word angles. Three means try, so add it to angles, triangles. That is a shape with three angles. So five o'clock, why do I keep saying o'clock? Five across is triangle. Okay, so we have tripod, which is a three-legged stand. We have tricycle, which is a three-wheeled bike and a triangle, which is a three-angled shape. All right, one down, a group of three, a group of three. Well, when you have a group of three and it, we know it ends in O and it has to have tri or tree, we would say it on, in the case of this, we would say it's a trio. A trio is a group of three. You might be in a trio if you're in a singing group. There might be three of you that sing together. Or maybe you have two friends that you hang out with. You might be a trio. Three kids hanging out together, a group of three. All right, the last one is a race with three different events. 
Okay, well, we know that it has to have tri in it. So, tri, and then it ends with L and then an N, and this is lawn. Can you think of what it is? Triathlon. Okay, so a lot of people who run in or do a triathlon, they do running, they do swimming, and they do biking. And there's different parts of it, and you have to do all three in order to finish the race. So that's a triathlon. So it's T-R-I-A-T-H. L-O-N, triathlon. All right. So down here, you're going to write your three sentences using these words. Okay, any three of those words. Make sure that you have capitals and marks. Make sure that your words are spelled correctly. Okay. All right, my friends, you are done with this packet. Uh, save it for your portfolio. Okay, I'll send out an email to parents as well, but save it and you can put it in your portfolio. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.